Hi, I'm back today with our next uh, video on dictionaries. This time I will talk about uh, dictionaries that are available online. And there is a uh, quite a big selection and also dictionaries that we already um, know that I have talked about in the last video about dictionaries. And in this one, <clears throat> we just start with um, Eshtalnet, uh, as you can see here. Um, Eshtalnet, and then you go on uh, the first link here, Arabic Almanac, powered by Maurit Reader. And there you see, allows searching in Hansver, Lane's Lexicon, Hawa, on a single page, 20 root-based Arabic dictionaries in six different languages. So we click on that and it loads. So it takes you to the first um, page that I have uh, looked up recently. And here uh, we have the uh, root Fadaha. And um, it's, it's actually the, the page as you can see it in um, a real uh, dictionary um, that is made of paper. Um, and so, yeah, you, you're used to the look uh, of that page. Here we have the Fadaha as I searched. And with this um, arrow bar here, the larger bar, you can jump to the next page and which goes on with Fadaha. Yes, so this is the first dictionary. Then on the second, the second one is Lane's Lexicon. I've talked about it already. Uh, as you see, it's just the same layout as the real book. And the next one is the supplement to Lane, um, which is also rarely useful, but still it's in here. It's okay. Then we have the Lisan al Arab, very important, which is also a big um, uh, source for Lane. As, as you see, Fadaha, it takes you to the root. Okay. So um, when you. I just go to search again. How do you search? You just enter the root letters, as it says here, enter root letters in English or Arabic to search. Okay, so um, yeah, it's, it's quite self-explaining. I won't do that now. I just go on with um, the next dictionary, uh, which is the Steingas. Yeah, this is also one dictionary you can use. I haven't uh, talked about this one. So the next one is Hawa, you know that already. Um, as you see, it's the same layout. Then there is a dictionary that they took uh, off the page because of um, copyright. Uh, and then you have different dictionaries. You see here, dictionary and glossary of Quran. And then you have again something uh, on the Quran. And then again, Quranic uh, vocabulary. And then you have the Kazimierski, which I also have talked about already, which is very Good. So you see, Father Hayer on the, exactly the page that you need. So very good work. Uh, then you have Malay and Urdu and uh, Indonesian, different dictionaries that you won't really use. Well, unless you speak those languages. Uh, yeah. So that's it for the uh, Ashtal Maurid um, Reader. Uh, very useful if you want to use the uh, same layout as in a book. Let's jump to the next dictionary, which is this one, Arab Arabic lexicon hauramami.com. And uh, yeah, I already searched for something here. So you get all the links um, to these uh, online dictionaries uh, in the description box below. Um, yeah, so you just, it's self-explaining. I just um, type in the same root letters, Fadaha. And let's say what we get. Okay, so you see, um, this is a uh, not a page layout uh, design. It's not it's not as such as in the book. Let's say it's it's really all um, uh, digitized, and you see it takes us first to um, Habib an advanced learner's Arabic uh, dictionary. I haven't explained that. It's also a very old one. You see also the dates of the publication here. And yeah, you have a lot of dictionaries here, actually. It's, it's really big. Um, we have things like Asas uh, al-Balagha. You see the uh, date of the death of the author. Samakhshiri, very important. 
um, grammarian. And you have also other, many, many other dictionaries, all, um, uh, yeah, you can think of, you have even the uh, translation of Dozi. Um, I have uh, introduced Dozi to you in the last video, but it is in French. But um, there's also a uh, Arabic translation of that. So, um, yeah, so basically you have here uh, the Arabic translation of um, a dozi and all of uh, everything that you can find here is in Arabic so you basically have to know Arabic to uh, use these dictionaries but in any any way and if you are at a later stage in your uh, development in your progress um, you certainly um, will uh, will appreciate this uh, online dictionary very much you see Ibn Mandur Lisan al Arab, uh, we have seen this already. Um, yeah, you see it's it's um it's all highlighted here, the Fadaha, the the um the root letters. And yeah, and you can expand that, I won't do that now. So I will show you the Taj al Arus. Ah the lane is the only one that has it uh that it's in a, that is in English, you see. But it's 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 um I find it easier to use. As you see, um they have special uh, categories here which are um in, in light blue and they uh, classify the um word or the form that you use. So you have uh uh, infinitive and master and so on so um this is yeah i think better organized you can read it uh, easier than the um the book version i think uh because the book version is organized in these very tiny columns and this is quite difficult uh to read um, and as you have a digitized text you can make it bigger you know so if i want to do that I can just show you. It's it just you use the uh, the um, the commands that you have. Uh, you see, you can make it really big, and you can read easily if you have problem with your eyes or so. So yeah, we jump to the Taj al Arus. Uh, the Taj al Arus um, is also a very important dictionary, and you certainly want to use it. Is yeah, of course, if you speak Arabic or uh, read Arabic. Um, so, uh, but if you had the book, the actual book of Taj al Arus, it's not organized, um, uh, the, the root letters are not organized, you know, in, in, as like first root letter, second root letter, and third root letter. So um, it's differently organized, the book. Um, you have the third um, uh, root letter as the first search item. Then you have the first root letter as the second search item, and then the uh, second root letter as the third search item. So what's, what is that? So um, he, you can't see it here because we, we search for Fadaha and it gives you Fadaha right away. But if you opened uh, the dictionary and if you had this multi-volume dictionary in front of you, and you looked for Fadaha, you won't uh, get it if you take like somewhere, okay, Qaf, uh, Fa, Qaf, I, I look Qaf, it must be one of the later volumes or something like that. And then you look for uh, Fa and you see things like Ha in there. And you ask yourself, why is Ha in here? Yeah, it's because um, it's organized according to the last root letter, the third root letter, okay? So if we look into the book version, which I already opened here, um, I try to make it bigger. Well, no, this is search. Uh, okay, we make it like this. So you see, um, it's here Fadaha. But you also see that this is the 10th um, volume of this uh, 40 something, 44 volume uh, work. And you see that Fadaha is here. And if we just, um, yeah, it's just quite um, in the first, uh, fourth of uh, this multi-volume work and which is quite early for fa so if you jump just to any random page well this father how we are it's the same one as we have in the um in here okay it says and then you have it here um well let's see if i can make this 
Yeah, you see, it's the same. You say fatahahu kaman ka manahu. Okay, so that's the that's the one. Uh, it's just the same. But let's say we just jump to a random page in this uh, in this book, and you see it's uh, it's tabakha, and then we just jump to another one, and you have something like uh, what is this jada. Jahada, <laughs> you see Jahada, it, 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 it is the Dal which is um, the criterion, the organizing criterion here. So we had Fadaha, which is Ha, which is, which is um, before Dal, of course, okay? So Fasl al-Jim ma'a Dal al-Muhmala, okay? So it, it gives you, okay, this is Jim, this is as the first letter, but Ma'adal uh, al but it's all the whole book is organized according to the third uh, root letter. Okay, so this was a little excursion into the Taj al Arus, but the Taj al Arus here is, yeah, you just type in the uh, root letters and it gives you the definition as in the Taj al Arus without searching madly for the, um, the root. Okay, so let's jump to the next. Dictionary, which is this one, uh, Al Maani. Uh, Al Maani is also Arabic. Well, the, purely Arabic. We've seen that the Hawramami has the lane in a uh, very well organized form, um, which is good. And it has also Dozi, which is not available, uh, uh, searchable online, let's say, uh, in French. You have it all only in Arabic here in Hawramami. So, um, but al Maani is also a very good dictionary. It is not that book-oriented. Well, I don't want to say... Oh, well, we can just try to type in here. Uh, it doesn't give you the detail of the dictionary, the book, the actual book that you um, search. It, 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 um, yeah, it says Marjam Arabi Arabi. It gives you uh, some details, but not as detailed as um, Hawramam. And yeah, so this is a large chapter on Fadaha fi Qamus al-Mu'jam al-Wasit. Okay, so Wasit is also a big uh, dictionary. So these are not the old, um, uh, very old uh, dictionaries that you have here. Um, but it's definitely a good dictionary to use when you can uh, read and speak Arabic. Yeah, they have also, uh, as you see, Russian, Urdu, German, of course, English, you know, you can also um, get your um, definitions in English, uh, but um, it's not the best choice for me. I don't use them. Yeah, I'd rather use the Ashtal, that one, yeah, for my English translations um, or the actual books. So, talking about uh, oh no, before that um, we have already talked about uh, 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 Luratuna. So Luratuna is also yeah, it's quite fine. You can find um, the words here, uh, but it's quite basic. It's not that um, uh, detailed as the other ones. Not so many. Uh, explanations, not so many um, uh, examples, uh, example phrases, and so on. So, yeah, it's, you can use it if you have an easy text, let's say, but yeah, I won't use it for old, um, for old texts. So, talking about actual books, what do we have? Um, you can get all the books as PDFs, and you can download them. Uh, today it's quite easy to have a large uh, library of dictionaries on your computer, which is very fine once the internet doesn't work, uh, or once you don't have the books with you, um, you sit in a cafe, as I do a lot of time, is a lot of times, and then yeah, you just need all these dictionaries, so you can download them in book form as PDFs. So how do you do that? Um, there is a site, very important site, that you certainly know, which is called archive.org. And um, I just typed in here, Lane Arabic Lexicon PDF Archive, for example. And it takes you directly um, to the download page. So you click on the search result, and it gives you the, uh, yeah, 
Lane Dictionary. You have to you have to check a little bit if you get uh, the whole work or is it only one volume. So you have to check. So here's another link. I click on that, and then you see uh, what you get. So here, this is the complete one. You see, it is one to eight parts, and uh, also the uh, supplement. I think so you can download that easily uh, here you can have it in PDF Kindle EPUB uh, any reading format that you need so you won't uh, be obliged to search within this web frame and you get the PDF downloaded in your download um, folder doesn't load because my engine is slow perhaps okay but you see you just um, it's, it's about searching this um, on Google and it's self-explained you see so it's just um, typing in these and you get the result so the same with the below we already had below uh, vocabulaire arabe français mm, we had that in the first video so yeah, we click on it and you see it's, um, it's our book that we had. And this is easier for him to download or to load the page because it's not that big as the lane. And you see it's an old edition here and it's a copyright free, okay? So don't worry if you download that. Uh, and you can also get uh, a good quality download. You can uh, get a I don't know if that's in here, but no, it's you'll see this one perhaps it's um yeah, it's not in uh, black and white and color sometimes I don't here it is black and white, so you can get black and white, which is not yeah too that small normally it's it's smaller than the colored one, but yeah, they did a good job um doing this fifty five megabytes is not that much, so you can open it easily, so you see this is um below the same um, for Hawa you see here I just type in Hawa and it gives you uh, uh, the link to download it from archive.org it's all out of uh, copyright so no problem here the same uh, for Kazimierski um, Kazimierski you can also download from Gallica Bibliothèque Nationale uh, Française um, yeah good quality uh, you can get it from archive.org or from here it's, it's both very good quality so we are on the page of Gallica now and you see this is our book and uh, download I think it's here yeah download and print okay so you see that um, same same uh, Varmund we talked about Varmund in um, the last video just you, you type in Varmund Wörterbuch and it gives you um, the link it's a little bit of searching but not too much it's very easy so and then also the Munjid, uh, you type in here in Arabic Munjid and then PDF and it takes you directly um, yeah, to Noor book. Well, I prefer archive because of the download formats um, and the reading um, uh, formats. Yes, so this is it. Uh, I hope that you uh, will use this because it... Um, saves you time it's a very um a very large uh selection of uh dictionaries that we have here and you just don't need to carry them around um for people who like books well you can always um, read the book but look up the word in um on your computer so you only have to carry around one book that you uh, read at that moment and not Ten dictionaries as I did uh, when I lived in France yeah some wow almost yeah 17 years ago <laughs> so yeah, I actually carried around the dictionaries so yeah happy uh, reading happy studying and yeah I hope this will um, facilitate and yeah make your Arabic uh, reading of old texts easier goodbye